Hello everyone, welcome back to Football Manager 2017 with Newcastle United and today we've got a huge match, probably one of the biggest games that I've been involved in since taking charge of the club and it's away against European champions PSG in the Champions League quarterfinals. Now PSG have won this competition the last three years in a row and that domination has got to come to an end now. We've got pretty good team, we've got pretty good form. Um, I think we're unbeaten in about 16 matches now, so if we can keep that record away from home today, we'll be in a very good position when they come to visit St. James's Park. This episode will include the return leg. We've got Everton sandwiched between those games, uh, and that will be a very important match because we're just outside the Champions League places on goal difference at the moment. Um, we've also got to take on Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final. Then it's Hull and Villa in the league after those matches. But that is four very big games in the space of two weeks. So it's a full-strength team going out there today. Melagoni is back from an injury, so he partners Kovacic in midfield. Uh, Callum Steele is having to come in at left-back because Rahman is still suspended, the ever-suspended Baba Rahman. Um, Chambers slips into the centre of defence with Pinheiro at right back. It's the same front three as before and I'm hoping that Simerson can continue his brilliant goal scoring form with a hat-trick today. Dybala to take the free kick that he earned. He puts it in and Marquinhos is there just outside the six-yard box and he's given PSG the lead. Santos intercepted from Kovacic but he's Poor effort is finally cleared away by Pinheiro. Um, Titi to Santos. This is such a good team. Martial to Sanchez. Santos again. And Sanchez looking for Dybala because Vasic has got the ball. His Leroy Sane charging forward. He's got support, but he goes himself and it's straight at Alisson. Bernadeschi plays it over the top. Dybala is in. It's come for Martial, and that's 2-0. And this tie is in danger of getting away from us. Bernadeschi plays the ball over the top, and Lucas has fouled Dybala. He's going to get a red card, and we've got to have to play an hour. 2-0 down with 10 men away at the three-time European champions. It's not going to go well. Divock Origi. Pass it inside to Kovacic. Now Melagoni. They've got extra work to do because we've dropped a defensive midfielder. Origi tackled by Heisage. Now Sanchez plays it out to Martial. He puts it forward. There's a the ball into Dybala, and that's 3-0. Dybala was always going to score that chance. He's on 25 goals for the season, and we are surely headed out of the Champions League at this rate. Francisco has his pass intercepted by Pinheiro. Now Simonson can launch counter-attack. It's Melagoni running forward. He's found Correa. But Allison clears it upfield. Now Pereira over to Dybala. Martial skips a tackle and makes it four. Corner from Kovacic in towards Carvalho. It's cleared away. Melagoni back in. He's going to have another chance. He sends it out to Kovacic. He does drill it in hard and low. It comes for Scott Orr of all people. And he's got an away goal that gives us some hope. Although it's gone down as an MTT own goal. Scott Orr with all the work there. Well, that Samuel and Titi at um goal does give us a small glimmer of hope, but that was far from what I would have wanted from this game. If we can get a 3-0 win at home, we'll be in with a chance, but PSG really taught us a lesson today. Well, I'm not resting anybody for this match at home against Everton. The league is just as important, maybe even more so if it looks like we could be crashing out the Champions League. So we're going all out to try and get our form back where it should be with constant wins. Everton shouldn't be too much of a challenger. They are still in the top half of the table, so we do have to be careful. Um, no major changes to the team. They've all come in the back four. Where we've got Rahman at left back, Lucas still available in the centre, Jordan alongside him with Chambers at right back. Simonson, back to Rabio. Now Origi spins the defender, finds Simonson, and he finds the back of the net to give us a lead inside 13 minutes. Corner from Kovacic, swung to the far post, Simonson's up there, and it's come for Cook, then Rabio and Lucas off the bar. Corner from Kovacic, sent to the near post, Danilo heads it away, Sane chases. Kovacic will have another chance from here, he pulls it back to Babaraman. There's Rabio to Kovacic, now Sane in a good area, and it's deflected in. Leroy Sane gets his 15th of the season. Tar. 
loses out to Rabio, and they're a man short at the back now. Arigi loses it to Tar, who's made up for his error. Now Mikatarium through for Traore. Lucas gets a tackle in wide and Ketchel come in. Mobley luckily shoots straight at Ketchel. Tar plays it over. Diaz cuts it out. Now Babaraman for to Z Gomez. He's got players around him. Leroy Sane into Gomez again. And he's fouled by Danilo there very clearly, and he's going to get sent off for sure. There is the red card, and we're going to be playing 10 men for the last 20 minutes. There is the full-time whistle. It has finished 2-0. A very good win for the team to bounce back from that defeat at PSG. Keeps us level with Chelsea. We're still six goals behind them on goal difference. We've got five games to either make up that goal difference or move ahead of them on points. We're only three points behind Arsenal and five points behind City. And in, quite interestingly, only six points behind United. Given we're 15 points behind them not too long ago. But they do have a game in hand where they can move further ahead. Well, things have switched around a little bit for this return match against PSG. We need to win by three goals to nil to get through. If PSG score, we'll need four. It's quite a big ask, and that would only force extra time. So we could be looking at needing five goals to win this game. I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Three nil, I think, is doable if we're on our best form. Um, the trouble is we've got a very makeshift defence, which isn't ideal when you need to keep a clean sheet against the three times European champions. Baba Rahman, our only regular player in their regular position. We've got Thiago Carvalho coming in for one of the biggest matches of his career. Callum Chambers is having to play at centre-back. And then Alex Arnold is being used at right-back. We've got Lewis Cook, Kovacic and Rabiot, our usual three in the midfield. They're going to be our engine with Origi, Sane and Simonson up front. We know they can get goals on their day, but it's all the big question of if they can do it today. Dybala's free kick. Cleared out by Rabio. Kovacic maybe with a chance to counter-attack. Instead he goes back to Ketchel. Chambers forward to Origi. Cuts across one player. Then finds Simonson. Back to Origi. Can he find Sane? He goes for goal and Allison's across to that far post to cover. Bernadeschi with a free kick. Edge of the area. Martial with a glancing header and it's gone in. I think off our own defender on the line. But it doesn't matter. We now need four goals to force extra time. Maya. Out wide to Duarte. He puts the ball in. Cleared out by Chambers. Now Leroy Sane leading a counter-attack. He's got Z Gomez with him. Slips it through to Sane. Okay, I don't even know what happened there, but we've been gifted a goal. Alisson decided to slide tackle Marquinhos. Well, there's the end of the match. We did manage to hold PSG to a draw, but it ultimately didn't matter, and we were lucky to get that anyway. Origi getting gifted a goal from the PSG keeper. But we are knocked out, as are Man City. Porto progressed to the semi-finals, and we now need to focus on that FA Cup match against Arsenal. Well, the team for the match against Arsenal at Wembley is a bit stronger in defence, at least. Everywhere else remains the same, but we've got Rahman, Lucas, Jordan and Chambers. Everybody playing in their rightful positions. Corey Jordan, the only player who maybe wouldn't get into the team ordinarily, but Amanza is not yet back, um, so he's sitting on the bench. Everybody else is probably fit enough to play this game. I'm not too worried about that. It's about going all out in this match and then focusing on the league up to the end of the season. Simonson plays it out to Origi. He can whip the ball in. It's cleared out by Decor, but it's come for Simonson. And there's Sane. We've got the lead at Wembley. Leroy Sane tucking it into a nearly empty net. Leroy Sane shifts the ball over to Baba Rahman. He pulls it back immediately. Rabio heads it into an empty net. The Arsenal keeper came to claim it and was nowhere near the ball. And Rabio's doubled our lead. Kovacic with a corner. There's not been too many highlights in this game, but here's Samusen. To Sane into the bottom corner. There's the icing on the cake. 3 0. Leroy Sane turning it on today. And we've crushed Arsenal at Wembley. Correa chips the ball over for Simonson. But I think that's a full time whistle. It's 3 0. We're going to the FA Cup final at Wembley. We have a golden opportunity to move above Chelsea. We're playing bottom club Hull at home and we really should be winning this game. And if we do, we'll move on to 70 points, the same as Arsenal, but two points clear of Chelsea. And that's a crucial bit of information. 
Uh, it's really important we get the points in this game. We'll be playing Liverpool in the FA Cup final, so that's something to look forward to at the end of the season. But the main thing is making sure we get that Champions League qualification for another year. Sane, inside to Kovacic, now Rabio. He plays it back to Sane. Good run from him. He's in the area and he scored a great goal there. The little one-two with Rabiot, but he ran most of that his own way. And that's his 50th league goal. Kovacic through to Sane. Now Chambers can send the ball in. He pulls it back to Cook instead. There's Rabiot to Origi. Rabiot, Simonson, what beautiful passing play that was. And it's a shame Origi couldn't finish it off. Lucas forward to Rabiot. He sends the ball onto Origi, who turns inside of the pitch. Still going, Origi. He goes for goal. Good save from Bettinelli. Rabio to Origi. Now back to Kovacic. He slips it into Simonson, who has a strike, and it's gone in, as they so often do. Diaz plays it back to Jordan. He's trying to cry, find a crossfield ball. Palmer heads it down, but straight into the feet of Rabio. Now Diaz. Rabiot can maybe pick a pass. It's Cook to Diaz. Through to Scott Orr. There's the Gomez into the bottom corner for 3-0. That was a pretty routine win in the end. And it gives us two points breathing room over Chelsea with four games left to play this season. And that's not a bad position to be in at all. To end this run of very intense games in a very short period of time, we now have to take on Aston Villa just a few days after beating Hull. Aston Villa have actually beaten me more times than I've beaten them as manager of Newcastle, which is a little bit embarrassing. Um, so hopefully we can turn them over at Villa Park. They did beat us at St. James's Park, remember, earlier in the season, which is one of the reasons that we're in this difficult dogfight with Chelsea at the moment. But we've got a pretty strong team going out there. Uh, Almanza is back at central defence, so he's partnered by Lucas. Uh, the front six are all the same, as are the two full-backs, and Ketchel is still in goal. Origi switches the ball out to Chambers. He pulls it back. Sane with the header. He's hit the inside of the post. And next to Berrier gets it away. Lopez pulls it into Santos. who puts it in. And Ketchel has just touched that header onto the post. A brilliant save. An 89th minute corner from Kovacic. Cleared away. Sane on the ball. Now into the 90th minute. Kovacic across. And it's gone in. Lewis Cook with a Stunning volley from outside of the area. It's his first goal of the season. The defensive midfielder hammering it into the bottom corner. Now it looks like Lewis Cook has sensationally won it for us in this match in the 90th minute. Absolutely brilliant stuff. There's a full-time whistle. We've got three crucial points that could see us into the Champions League. Well, Chelsea also didn't managed to close the gap so we're now four points clear of Chelsea with three games to go and we are surely going to make it into the Champions League for another year it's been such a good upturn in form from the team just look at this recent record even going as far back the game against Liverpool was maybe when it really started to change for us um, or rather the game after Liverpool against Bournemouth, and look at that run of form. If you take that result out, because that was a penalty shootout defeat, so technically a draw, we've only lost one game since early January, which is absolutely phenomenal. After such a poor first half of the season where we lost so many games, Simonson has absolutely blown us into the next level. And we've got games against Watford, Arsenal and Norwich to look forward to in the league to close that gap over Chelsea. Just make sure that we do finish in the top four. And then it's all about that FA Cup final against Liverpool and the chance to win another trophy. But that will be all for this episode. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, see ya.